Morning, boys. G'day, Paul. Reese. How are you? Stumpy, how are you, buddy? Thanks. How's the camp? Fantastic, mate. Wow, I love the country. So awesome, cockatoos, fog lifting. Where exactly are we, mate? Well, we're in a very special place on the Murrumbidgee River. We're going to fish for some beautiful Murray Cod. Now, to me, that looks like a trout stream. We're actually going to target Murray Cod. Yes, that's right. Any bycatch? Yeah, the golden perch. And also, we got approved permit from fisheries to catch trout cod and educate people what they are. Trout cod, incredible fish. I've heard a lot about them. There's one important thing we must do before we put anything in the water and go and target some fish. Can you guess what it is? A brekkie? Put the billy on. I'm hanging for a cup of tea. Where is it, mate? We all good, Paul? Let's do it. Make sure we're heading this way? Yes, let's go up and around these snags. The beauty of this, we've got total stealth on our side. We can sneak up on these beautiful fish. Hard, didn't he? Didn't he? What? I actually saw the flash when he hit it. Oh, and he took me out. I thought I'd dropped. Do you want to try and go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gravel? Yeah. Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah, baby. That's a solid fish. Um, oh, did he hit that? Woo! What a cracking start. A few casts onto the snag. And this beautiful Murray Cod has come out and just engulfed it. And I actually saw the flash, race. Mate, I tell you what, it hit insane. Yep come out of that still bit of water, and that is an awesome fish for this water. Oh, mate, Man, that, is, that is an awesome fish for anywhere in the world, let alone oh, this water. That is if a you rarity. Go a bit further, and what I'll do, I'll try and get in the water for yeah, you. Yeah, yep, yep. Just spin around. What an incredible oh. fish. Mighty Murray Cod. Can you get in there? I'll try, mate, I'll try. I mean, oh. look at that. Ooh. Come on, buddy, come on, come on, come oh. on. Where's those bogus? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, mate. Yes! What a fish, Paul. Got him on. What a fish! Mate, congratulations. Yes. That is epic on every level. I'm gonna bring this cod over and show you what this amazing river produces. Well done, Reese. Yeah! So just getting the water pumping through this fish's gills, you can lift him up for us, Reese. Look at that, Paul. Now, that is a Murray Cod. It is a beautiful Murray Cod. And how does it rate size-wise for this waterway? It is a good size fish for this water. Um, rare, but perfect time of year to get them. Cool, clear water. Yeah, really, really, really solid fish. As you can see, this is a Murray Cod. Different, but very similar to the Trout Cod. He's got this motley pattern through here. A lot more spots and colour on the head. Yeah, yeah. And the Murray Cod has a rounder head as opposed to the Trout Cod, which has that pointy nose and that overslung jaw. Reese, incredible fish. Obviously, you don't take Murray Cod, do you? No, no, they all go back. Catch and release only, so they can grow bigger for someone else to catch. Well, this fish is going back. Unbelievable. I love these fish. There is just something about them that I cannot even begin to describe. Oh, oh. straight out. He must have engulfed that, eh? Yes. Here, I'll take the flies for you, they'll be right. Yep, they'll be right there. Beautiful, mate. Well, all we're going to do now is release this beautiful fish. He's going to swim well too, that water's yeah. been pumping. Yeah. When you're ready, mate. Away you go, big girl. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything. Look at that. What a pretty fish. How, How magic good is does he look on the stones? Oh, that is such a good thing to see. Normally, release a Murray Cod just disappears in the darkness. But what does a fish like that mean to you when you pretty much live for freshwater fishing? All the hours we spend, it is absolutely magic to get a beast like that. If you want to catch incredible fish, you've got to put in the time, the effort. If you do that, you'll catch the big one. Don't forget, proper preparation prevents pathetic performance. Or just go fishing with Reese Creed. Same thing. That is crazy. Yep, there he is. And as you were saying to me earlier, mate, hook the fish first, yep. and then what is it? It is. It's a little trout cod, it's I reckon. A trout cod. It's a trout cod. That is amazing. You hooked him on the other and, side of the tree. And the lure, I reckon, is about to come over the snag, and, and he's taken it off the side of the log. That's a beautiful fish, mate. 
isn't it? Especially in that real nice clear water. How's the difference now? We've just seen a beautiful Murray cod. 20 casts later, a trout cod, and straight away you can see they're different fish. Yeah, yeah, totally different. But if I was just to come and catch that, I'd be thinking, well, hang on, I'm not sure. Yeah, very similar, but if you put them together, they've got distinguishing differences. Unbelievable. Reese, isn't he the most incredible looking fish? He's unreal. That is so good. And they fight to the end, these things, which I love. They're doing those rolls before. They actually do big rolls almost like a crocodile, don't they? Yeah, yeah. And he won't open his gob. No, nah, they lock their jaw yep. real tight. Yep. Got him. Because they just want to hold onto that lure. If I'm going to hold on the lure, that mud gut spinnerbait is in there. He's short and fat. Yeah, real stocky fish. So what is it that separates this from a Murray cod with distinguishing features? There's a couple of different features. As you can see, it's got that one gray color with a lot of those little dots on it, black dots. Uh, it also has a pointed snout, so it looks like it's got look, almost like a beak, yep. and the top jaw overhangs. And the one thing I noticed too, compared to that Murray cod we caught earlier, mm. it hasn't got any coloration on the head at all. No, no, they lose their coloration. The young ones will have a little bit, yep. but as they grow up to about this size and bigger, it loses almost all coloration on the head. Well, our target species today is the mighty Murray cod. This fish is a trout cod. We actually have a permit from New South Wales Fisheries to present these fish to camera and try and educate people around Australia and the world that these are a protected species. You've got to put them back in this place part of the world, but if you catch a trout cod, enjoy the moment, take a photo, put it back. Don't target them please though, because we need to let the stocks replenish. So one day, we'll be able to come out here and catch them with our kids. I'm so proud of you, Reese. That is just the most beautiful fish. Just getting some water through this fish's gills. I'm gonna let him go. Oh, straight under the boat. How quick are they, Reese? They're really, really fast. They're a tough fish, aren't they? Real hardy, real tough, and that's why they're making a comeback yep. in certain areas, but we still have to look after them. So, they're a fast water fish, are they? Yeah, like I said, characteristics of a trout. So, you catch a 70 centimetre Murray cod, yep. you catch a 70 centimetre trout cod, which one's gonna fight harder? Trout cod for sure. So there you go, an angling species we need to protect, we need to look after, because I wanna bring my boy back here one day, and catch a trout cod, and let them all go because they're too cool. One of my favourite fishing tips, monkey see, monkey do. Reese has caught a couple of beautiful fish this morning, so I went through his tackle box and I found the exact lure he's been catching on. This is a mud gut spinnerbait, got the soft plastic on the tail there, and very, very interesting. Not just about putting a lure on and hoping to catch a fish, it's about the finer details. This thing has what's called willow blades. Now the willow blade will help the lure to sink quicker than a Colorado blade would. The Colorado blade is much fatter, and you don't get as much vibration, but vibration isn't important here because we've got quite clear water. The fish will actually come out and see that blade. It's fully rigged, ready to go. And I think I'm about to catch myself a fish. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Got him. oh got him. Good Did fish. you see the bite? I yes. saw the bite. How good oh. was that? Oh, he's coming out. A big fish? He's a nice fish. I'm just gonna honestly see Paul. Oh, what a good. crack. He's a good fish. I actually saw the take, he tapped <laughs> it and then come back and ate it, mate. That Look at the size incredible. of that. Got some power, don't they? Oh, they are awesome Didn't fish. he munch that? So you saw him come up I saw him take actually it. pushed it forward, I stopped whining and he smashed it. Well done, mate, well done. That is just so exciting to get these fish in water where you can see them. And that's a solid fish, they go, don't they? Yeah, don't they go. Oh, like I can't pull him up in the current. He is just smashing around. Oh, he's big. He's really big. That's he, well above average. He is big. So for a trout cod, it's obviously a trout cod. Yes, yes. Well above average. Yes. And how special is this? The cockatoos are going nuts. It's a magnificent day. And I just saw a trout cod eat my spinnerbait. And now I'm looking at one of the prettiest native fish that Australia has to offer. Yeah, baby. <sighs> Reese, you're in charge, my friend. You promised me a trout cod and you have delivered. There he is. Just gonna get them on. And hold him up. There we are. And look at that now. How long do you reckon he is? He'd go high 60s. High 60s. Now, how does that relate to a Murray cod? Because everyone goes, oh, look, the magic metre mark for Barra. Where does this sit in the trout cod world? It'd be just under a magic metre mark for Murray cod. So it'd be about an equivalent 90 centimetre cod. Awesome fish. I must stress again, we've actually got a permit to show you these fish today. We could target them if we wanted to, but we're not. We're fishing for Murray cod. But very, very important, if you're going to fish waters where trout cod exist, make sure you understand all the identification. If you've just tuned in, rewind to the start, because we just told you the way to tell the difference between this and the beautiful Murray cod. I'm stoked. Never caught one of these before. And not to put too fine a point on it, I'm a very, very happy camper. 
great thing about spinner baits, single hook, they come out easily. And these fish are so solid and so tough, they release really well. I'm just gonna get a bit of air through the gills there. And I reckon he's gonna go smacko, off he goes. Yeah, he's already keen. Okay, I'll give him a little push. Look at that. Straight back down. And all you see is that big fat white tail. When you hook him, after the initial power, you just see this big paddle tail come up. He's got the two white lines, top and bottom. If you look at a fish's tail, they call it a caudal fin. You can learn so much about the way they swim and the way they fight. The cod, he's got that big flat paddle tail. Not good over long distances, but in short bursts, incredible power. If you're gonna try this style of fishing, you really only need to know two knots, three at best. This one here, it's called an FG. The FG connects your braid to your mono leader, nice and simple, no double required. Then your lure. On this spinnerbait, I've simply tied a uni knot. Make sure you learn that one. It is very, very good, even just for tying hooks into your line. If you happen to use a hard body lure, sometimes a loop knot is very handy. Just that lure can get the swing. Keep it simple, they said, and you'll catch plenty of fish. Now this one here is slightly smaller than the monster that Paul caught earlier. Now as you'll see I'm on the bank, the boys in the camera boat got stuck on a stone bar, bigger boat, a lot more stuff, I couldn't help myself but have a cast, hook this beautiful fish and I just wanted to show you this beautiful trout cod. Now he's more of an average size, about 55 centimetres, we have a look at the colour on that in that beautiful sunlight. Our drift today is over 23.4 kilometres. Luckily a farmer let us put our boats in on his property, but we've got to drift all the way down the river. We've got cars parked there and then get the boats out tonight. So it's important between snags you cover ground. There's some fantastic snags further down the river. So for the next 20 minutes, we're just powering along at warp speed, as you can see, because we heard there's some good fish on those snags and we want to go and catch them. Plenty of structure under the water here, so yep. if you hit that root ball, just there, yep. and the cod will oh, sit. Yep. You fish. got him! Got him! Get him out, get him out! Oh, There's a big, on. big log there. Uh, yeah, I've got him, I reckon I got him out. Have you got him out? Oh. Has he come off? Oh, yeah, no, he's out, he's, he's out. out. Oh, look, he's on that root, you can see oh. him. And that's well incredible. Done. When you see the size, whoa! I mean, standing long, please excuse me. When you see the size of this fish, come here, mate, come here. And the power that he put to get me in that snag. That's incredible, now I assume that is the average size trout pod. Yes, yeah for sure. So when you say average, what, 45 to 50 centimetres? Yeah, about 45 to 50 they're starting to get to. Yep. So that's the ones that are more common through this border. And when you look at these smaller fish, you can so see why they're called trout cod. If you just look at the back section, those spots are just like a brown trout. And when you look front on, they just look like a beautiful brownie swimming in a crystal stream. Trout cod, they've definitely stolen my heart today. I love these fish. Mr. Trouty, go and enjoy. Away he goes, straight under the boat. They tend to do that. These natives, they just love structure so much. You'll sit under the boat and follow us. Yep, still there. Oh, that's Good weird. Work. That's weird. Is that a little that's yellow? Yeah, it's yellow. Just come off the front of that root ball. Beautiful. He's hit hard. He's swallowed it too. Hasn't he? Nice little yellow belly. And as you'll see, I've got the fly rod out because we've got some pretty good fishing here today. I just thought if I could actually get a cod on fly, it'd be epic. Still throwing the spinnerbait. You see we've got a bit lower light now. And that yellow belly, normally they're very prolific in this area, mate. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them. A lot of good, yeah. healthy yellow belly. And uh, all around that sort of 40 centimetre line? Uh, you get some big, big ones. Yep. Up around mid 50s yep. even. But yeah, there's some good. Hey, that fish is solid. Yeah, fat fish good in work. the clear water. Bring him over, Reese. They put up a pretty serious account of themselves, don't they? Yeah, especially in the cooler Oof. water. Gives them more go. That this is not, fat. He's a nice fish, isn't he? That is the Paul Worstling of fish. <laughs> you shouldn't laugh, <laughs> mate. <laughs> it's all right when you look like a greyhound. Um, absolutely awesome. He weighs really well, big and thick through the shoulders. 
love yellow belly and you say normally yellow belly are really thick and say they're a bit slow? Yeah, they've been a bit slow. It could be the cooler temp, but once they're climbing up to it, they'll be right. Good work. Well, Reese, 99% of the time this fish should go back, but we've got a special mission for him, haven't we? Yeah, he's um, done a farmer. He let us on his property to fish, so. It's called good old Aussie payback. The farmer let us launch on his property. He said, all I would love is one yellow belly if you happen to come across him. Seeing as his land, around a pretty fair deal.